Good morning, everyone. You know, I'm joined here by Democratic Conference Chair, State Senator Andrew Stewart Cousins is here with us today, State Senator uh, George Latimer, Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer, and uh, uh, they're, they're here today. Actually, we've had some discussions about the city uh, and, and our future and on some of our budget concerns, and so it's great to have them here with us. And uh, let's face it, uh, if it wasn't for the amount of state aid that we get, uh, we wouldn't be able to keep up with our fleet and to make the changes we need to make. So I'm very uh, proud of the fact that you're here, and I want to say thank you on behalf of all the people of our great city. I'm also joined here with Council President Chuck Lesnick, the Majority Leader of Yonkers City Council, Wilson Torero, uh, and uh, I think that's it, Captain uh, or Chief Interval. So uh, today, Yonkers Police Commissioner Charles Gardner and I are pleased to unveil the department's newest fleet that will patrol the city of Yonkers beginning this fall. Um, while the department has replaced aging vehicles over the last uh, over the last couple of years, this is the first time in almost 15 years that the look of our Yonkers fleet, police fleet will change. Uh, our current fleet has been used to its fullest potential, patrolling our streets 24-7. Time has come to retire some of the aging vehicles and replace them as we do on a regular basis with technologically more advanced and energy efficient vehicles. Besides the obvious change in colors, our news fleet is safer for our officers and obviously our residents. Uh, the new fleet will feature new black and white the Chevy Caprice, uh, police, uh, what they call new black and white Chevy Caprice uh, patrol vehicles, uh, police uh, Ford interceptor and utility vehicles, and one new emergency service uh, unit patrol truck. So without further ado, let me introduce uh, to you the newest look of the Yonkers Police Department. So as you can see, the wow. new Yonkers Police Car Fleet will feature a new look with a new color scheme of black and white. And this will allow the vehicles to be more visible to the public. It has uh, an ability to identify Yonkers police cars at a greater distance. Starting this fall, the fleet will be replaced with 23 new sector cars, nine new police interceptor utility trucks, and, and one new ESU truck. Uh, stripping uh, on the vehicles will consist of high visibility reflective uh, tape so that they're noticeable day or night and to give you a breakdown of the new state-of-the-art vehicles uh, I'd like to ask Commissioner Charles Gardner to say a few words. Commissioner. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Uh, good morning. We're very pleased to uh, display our new and upgraded police patrol vehicles here that we're introducing. These vehicles will begin um, being put into service at some time in fall of this year. As you probably have noticed, the most uh, significant change is our color scheme, which is now black and white. And what we did is, about a year ago, we, we put together a number of different schemes for the vehicles, and we sent them out to the members of the department, and they actually voted and picked this scheme. So the rank and file members of our agency actually picked the design of the vehicles moving forward. Uh, our new Chevy Caprice patrol vehicle um, was designed by us from the ground up as a police vehicle. Um, and it's not available to the general public and it has a number of safety enhancements, including LED lighting, which takes a lot less power to utilize. It has a photo sensor in the lighting package that dims the lights at night so not to impact the vision of approaching residents or approaching vehicles. It also contains what we call an idle right system, which is a system that monitors the battery in the vehicle so that we can actually leave the car with the lights on and not have the car running. So if the car uh, battery gets weak, you, this automatically starts the car, charges the battery, and then turns the car off, which is more environment friendly, less emissions, and also saves on fuel. Uh, this vehicle is also uh, replacing our Ford Crown Victoria and gets better gas mileage. And it also has a um, 
computer system that has thermal imaging capabilities. This vehicle has installed in the light bar a license plate reader that will be used by our patrol officers. And this is the only vehicle in the United States at this time that has that feature. There's one vehicle in the United States and one vehicle in Canada that currently have that feature. So this is state-of-the-art technology for our officers. Also, you see our new Ford Interceptor. Uh, this replaces our Chevy Tahoes. Uh, this vehicle has gets much better gas mileage than our Tahoes. Um, it was also developed by our fleet uh, personnel as a, as a police vehicle. It has beefed up suspension, engine, brakes, has all-wheel drive, and it will increase our ability to maneuver and respond to calls for service in inclement weather. It also has the LED lighting and the new idle right system as we have in our Chevy Caprice. And also our new ESU patrol vehicle. Uh, this vehicle was completely redesigned by our vehicle team here in the Yonkers Police Department. It features a larger uh, cab. Uh, we've reduced the weight of the truck. We've distributed the weight of the equipment more evenly. Uh, access to emergency equipment in this vehicle is easier for officers to work with. It has a diesel engine uh, with better gas mileage and less emissions, which is more friendly to the, to the environment. Again, LED lighting is in this vehicle as well. So I would just like to take a moment to thank our mayor, the Honorable Mike Spano, members of our city council and government for providing us with the resources necessary uh, to protect the people of the city. This, this technology will not only increase officer safety and public safety, but it also uh, presents a professional image of this department. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our commanding officer of the fleet services, Lieutenant Patrick Rooney. Uh, and all the members of our fleet services, they do an outstanding job in designing these cars. And oftentimes we find that the cars we design here in Yonkers are used as models for law enforcement agencies throughout the country. So I'm very proud of them. They do an excellent job. I also want to thank Commissioner Meyer in the back. He supports all of our cars and vehicles. Tom, we really appreciate that as well. Uh, at this time, we'll open it up for any questions that you may have regarding the vehicles or the fleet um, here in Yonkers. Good. I'd like to, uh, good. Uh, again, I want to give a special thanks. I know the uh, commissioner thanked the city council, and it's very true. We, we, it's that partnership that has to exist, but also special thanks to members of our state delegation for which uh, funding is made available to the city, uh, and uh, something that they work very, very hard for. So, and these days couldn't be possible unless that partnership existed. So, uh, to our delegation, thank you. They don't want to speak, uh, but but uh, surprise that Council President Chuck Lezen would like to say a few words. <laughs> you know, for seven years at all our budget hearings, uh, whenever the commissioner, and before he was the deputy commissioner, would appear, uh, I would always echo the concerns of the residents, which was when the uh, police vehicles were left idling all day when uh, Con Ed ripped up in the roads, there was a lot of fumes and they weren't complying with the city's three minute no idling law. Uh, well, the commissioner heard what we said and he went back in these LED lights that do not run on engine fumes. I thank you profusely for listening to us. These vehicles are safe, they're quick, but they're also smart, they're energy efficient. And um, you know, I'm looking at these pictures of 100 years of police, police vehicles. We had our 100th anniversary of our first city council meeting a couple of years ago, and in 1911, they had that first meeting up in the council chambers, and the police commissioner then was there before the city council asking for permission to buy six horses for the police department. I don't know if they were take-home horses or just horses that stayed in the stables, but uh, we also, at that meeting, purchased our first three vehicles, and um, they were for St. John's and St. Joe's hospitals, and the fire commissioner, even though it was a volunteer force at the time, got a um, take uh, got, got, got a vehicle to go to fire. So we've come a long way in 102 years, uh, and these are probably more energy efficient than those first three vehicles vehicles we purchased, so good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you. Thank you.